guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. My channel is called Beauty and Living. Everybody's hair is different, guys. This one is gonna be about removing the purple in your hair. Now, I have seen a few videos. I've done a few things already to my hair, which I'll list right now. All right, now that I've listed them, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do next. So basically, I, I tried to bleach it just to see what would happen. I don't know if you can see, but I did just I just did a little strand and it actually turned green. And I did it over here on this side too. I used a different tactic, ta tactic using baking soda and it also turned green. I can't find it. But anyway, I, with doing a little bit of research, I was like, okay, my hair's gonna turn green. What can I do to get that green out? Salons are closed right now. Otherwise, I would actually go to a salon and I don't even like going to salons, but for this, I would have gone to a salon. But I have to, I have been applying to jobs and, you know, interviews are coming up. So I got to get this out of my hair. What I'm gonna do to turn my hair green, but in a way that's not gonna damage it with bleach, I'm going to use Color Oops. And I also um, bought a second box just in case that is going to be having conditioner in it. I heard from somebody that this really helped take the green out of their hair. Since red cancels out green, I got this red infused color shampoo. This is pretty much all I'm hoping is gonna fix this green in my hair. So let's just go and dive deep into it. In just a moment, I'll show you with me with my hair all done. Combed it out. It stinks. <laughs> Now we're gonna take it off. I don't know what to expect. Ooh, I see green. But honestly, it's kind of blue too. It's actually blue. I was not prepared for this. I'm just gonna wash it out with some dandruff shampoo or something just to see what color it really is because I'm not sure at this point. It's too dark. And I don't know if this is gonna work because I was prepared for green but not for blue so we're gonna have to see. Oh my gosh. Such a cool color. I like this color. Aww, I wish I could keep it. I want to keep it. Okay, guys. I like this hair so much that I'm gonna just keep it because it's so cute. It's like a, it's like a mermaidy look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just to see what it would look like, I'm gonna take another strand and I'm gonna rinse it with this red. I just want to see what it's gonna do. You have been selected. Ah! <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so as those of you who understand the color wheel probably guessed. It does have a little bit of a purple tint to it now, so I believe when you apply red to blue, it makes a little bit of purple. Okay guys, so I do actually think this color is really cute, but I'm already bored of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the second round of color oops, but this one has conditioner in it. Yay! So let's see what happens. So I tried using, I tried using the shampoo it didn't really work barely did anything but i have done more research guys and to get rid of this greenish bluish color i have with me i really hope this doesn't turn into a disaster some red some semi-permanent red and semi-permanent oh that's not it so semi-permanent red and some semi-permanent that's not it yeah. semi-permanent red and some semi-permanent Sunset orange, okay? The orange is what I'm hoping is gonna do the most work. But just to start out, I'm gonna do strands, of course, just to see what happens. I heard that orange is supposed to cancel out green and red, nope, other way around. Orange is supposed to cancel out blues and red is supposed to cancel out greens. Yes, I think. I'm just gonna put one of each in here. I may just have to end up mixing these two together. You know, I actually kinda like how this looks. I just realized I don't have gloves. Okay, I found some gloves. This Arctic Fox orange smells real good. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can actually tell on this thing, but this one is more of an orangey color. And then this one is a little bit more red. You can tell. But I think personally that this one probably matches me a little bit more. I think I'm gonna just go with the orange because this one also has a little bit of blues in here that weren't covered. And this one is a little bit lighter, so I'm just gonna go with this one. Okay, uh, I gotta clean my face, but this is so far what it looks like. 
we're gonna just wrap it up for 15 minutes and then wash it off and see what comes of it. All right, here's to hoping I don't look like a Oompa Loompa. Time to wash it out. Sweet flies. So it got rid of all of it. I love it. I love, oh, I love that it got rid of everything. All the teal. I think I'm gonna give my hair a break because I've been doing a lot. And I can already start to feel like it's really mad at me. I don't mind this color so much. I don't think an employer will mind this color so much. So the blend between my natural hair and the red is really smooth, I like it. All right, so now I'm just gonna put some conditioner, leave-in conditioner, things like that to help with my hair and all the stuff I've been doing to it. I got some brown dye and I'm gonna wait for that because I did a lot to my hair the other day. And you know, why not give it a break? It deserves one. So let's see how it looks in the end. This is the result of the orange, sunset orange over the teal color. I really like this color and I think it'll be okay. Um, I was gonna do the brown, but then I was like, you know, I like color and whoever employs me needs to understand that, okay? Plus, I feel like red is more commonly accepted than any other random color. <laughs> So we're just gonna stick with this. Yep. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if your heart so desires. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at yaz.mari. And my photography Instagram is also Yasmin Marie Photo if that's something you're interested in. Until next time.